Signs are in the hood. Neeb, Neb, I'm not sure. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out, shout out, Eam. No, I ain't gonna lie. It's N E B. Like, hold on, let me show y'all. All right. Put y'all on. Let's see. Neb. Neb. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. Shout out, him. 10K. Eb. Yo, motion. I ain't All gonna right, lie. now. Signs, you are in the hood. I ain't gonna lie. This <laughs> song should be very entertaining. I ain't gonna lie. Because mm. y'all know how it go. But, obviously, if you guys wanna Morning watch the video, race. that will be down the description below. Give your own opinions and conjecture, especially without the yap. Let's okay, right here we go. Family. Let's see. Ah, the projects. A place of nostalgia and lifelong trauma for some, and a place mm -hmm. of my GPS told me to turn down here when it shouldn't have told me to turn down here for others. <laughs> no matter what part of the world you're in, I'm sure your city has got at least a couple of these. Mm -hmm. So let's cut the long talk that and get right like into the list. Silly. Here are some signs that you have found yourself in the ghetto. If you're taking a stroll down the street only to get lost in your thoughts of what you should have said in that argument from two weeks ago or something along those lines, and you look up only to see a crisp pair of power line pumps, You've almost certainly found yourself in the project. Mm -hmm. Now, why exactly does this happen? The project, a though. Of reasons. Some people get rid of their beaters this way. Others use this as the original ping system before video games picked it up. So next time you're playing Fortnite or something and hit the ping button, just remember where it all started. Next, we got the wait. stores. Wait, no, I, wait. I thought the shoes. Nah, I, nah, and this is just me. Y'all correct okay. me if I'm wrong because I, I, I will always admit I'm a realist at the end of the day. If I'm wrong, Hez will tell me in the comments, bro. I'll take it on the chin, you know what I'm saying? Unless it's something stupid that you you going over on some Twitter bullshit, stupid John. But right. I always thought that the shoes on the on the John meant that somebody died. I swear I, I thought that's what that meant. Like, I don't know. Growing up, it, it, it meant that um everybody would throw their gym shoes up on the last day of school. Oh, like nah, when school was out. Shit, I'm way too Cause they ain't no they, Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. Put in the comments. What's the what's the real reason why they thought people do that? Yeah. Yeah. That was, they said because um, it was the last day of school. The, the when one school spot was out, I remember it, that. The sneakers up there. From is holes. I'll never forget that, John. Yeah, yes. Everybody's oh, everybody's. They see, threw it up there because somebody passed away. Every no, no. It, oh. I, the shoes were just there in holes. They were like some famous athlete shoes. But everybody has everybody has seen or red holes because like, bro, mm -hmm. you'll see, you'll definitely you have red holes once in your life because you'll probably see it in school or whatever. But I remember because it was the shoes was up there. Then um, yeah, no, no, no. The shoes was in a John. Then I think Zero stole them and threw them up, and then Stanley got them, and then they arrested Stanley, and sent him to the camp, obviously in holes, because they thought he stole the shoes, mm -hmm. and obviously, you know, that's how the movie Well, you know, I tell you right now, you ain't seeing nobody throwing no shoes on. I don't see too many shoes up uh, there. I wouldn't. Because somebody gonna climb up there and get them. They need them. Like, <laughs> <laughs> don't let them be no throwbacks. <laughs> Here we go. Wash them Cashing off places, them. payday loans, laundromats. If you see a high volume of any of these places within a short vicinity, yeah, you, you have good. undoubtedly found no, yourself no. in Project Pass. Nah, you in there. Couple you in there. Of With all the <laughs> Project <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. They I had Dollar Tree and all those little, those little shopping centers. We had that around here. We got a lot of shop shopping centers. We got too many. Nah, but I mean, like, but we, don't got no, we don't got no laundry mats in general. Like, I feel what he's saying because, yeah, I understand with the stores. Like, yeah, Dollar Tree probably wasn't, like, the best example because like, you just find Dollar yeah. Tree anywhere. But he mean, what he means is mean, like, the poppy stores. Like he said, like, the, the, like, the payday loan stores. You're not going to find it around We ain't got no and, poppy stores. And no we white. ain't got no... Oh my bad, my bad if this is racist, but we live we live in the suburbs, bro. We ain't like, got we no poppy stores. Area, we like, barely got a laundry man. And that's because the college don't. college kids they need it, huh? I ain't gonna lie. And, mm, but that don't wow. even count for our junk, because that's over by the college. That's technically yeah. out of our even neighborhood, <laughs> past them shops that we got. So I'm like, yo. Woo, laundry yeah. man, I want one. Right in the hood. Facts. I ain't mm -hmm. gonna lie. This with some abandoned car washes and liquor or corner stores, oh, and your quarters oh, cannot be any more obvious. Yo. And if you need any more hints, just take a look at the windows and doors of said establishments. Are there bars on them? If the answer is yes, you know where you are. You are. Hood, also, I couldn't sure. forget the discount dollar stores and the thrift shops. The good old reliables. All reliable. Next on the list, we got some of the best eats you will ever mm. eat Facts. in the life of East. Every, other store. Every hood has Stand. at least one go-to spot with mm. food seemingly yep. made with crack Stand. and pixie dust. Well, <laughs> given where you are, the first one might actually be true, but that's besides the point. The ghetto always has a spot with at least one hood Michelin star. Yep. Yes, I said hood Michelin star. Yeah. <laughs> if you've been to one of these places, you know exactly Chinese, what I mean. Chinese chicken spot. Sure, there spot. might be cracks in the walls mm -hmm. and no AC with a dog barking from somewhere beyond the void. Or a stray cat. And you come here. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Because once that delightful yeah, world-class cuisine oh, hits that, the taste buds, the whole life. block gets shot up and you wouldn't dare get caught dropping a single crumb off that plate. Nope. And you know these places especially get the, Especially the soul food platters, you is crazy. <laughs> Yo, they could come out. I'm telling you, they could come out drive by the whole block. They they could really come crazy out there. You best believe my Mac is still on my plate. You better stop playing, bro. It ain't even it ain't even nothing like that, bro. Stop playing. Like, yo. From the whole community. And are definitely a staple for projects around the world. Next on our list, we got people. Every type of neighborhood has people in it. Mm -hmm. Obviously. But are they really outside though? Because if there's one thing about the projects. 
people are outside. Yeah, but yeah. People on depends. the porch, people on the lawn, yeah. people in the staircase, yeah. people outside the corner store. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anytime at any place, if you're in the projects, you are bound to see people gathered around outside. Of course. Mm -hmm. What are they doing? Nothing. Well, that, my friend, <laughs> is their business. <laughs> but speaking of people outside. No, nah, literally most of the time, heads are just either sitting by the block, just waiting for more heads to come, or just chilling mm -hmm. <laughs> just, just mm -hmm. literally chilling there's nothing there because they can't be in their house especially if it's in the summertime they ain't got no air and no ac is mm -mm. those hot. fans ain't working they ain't got nothing mm -mm. to do we just living mm -hmm. <laughs> lifing i ain't gonna lie tough thing you almost definitely see outside in the ghetto is children oh yeah all oh, playing yeah. kids in the ghetto don't normally got the new game consoles or phones to be what is up a in the poly station so they go outside. Wait, I wasn't even really reading. What's just... a poly station? Uh, Nintendo poly station. Is that some, is that something for real? No, of course not. This is this is a knockoff of all knockoffs. This is this this one right here is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This right here is crazy. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, I want me a poly uh, station. Yo, That's this... probably the one I can afford. <laughs> Put them needles. Nah, this is crazy. I go game this. consoles or phones to be cooped up in the crib all day. So. They go outside. Mm -hmm. And let me just tell you, these kids are either the quietest kids in the world to the point you think that they're just mute or something, or some devious ass rugrats. And there's mm -hmm. really ever an in-between. But one thing I can say is they play outside. So, yeah. And since we're already on the topic nowadays. of being outside, next TikTok. time that you're in the projects is... Yeah, th nowadays, they ain't nah, too many kids outside. Nah, nah, that's not true, though. Because I feel like in a project, you probably be more outside because... And I don't want to talk crazy, bro. Yo, we used to live in Jersey and all that, bro. Like, yo, listen, it was times, bro. Stop playing. But most heads don't got a phone. Like, that's, that's a whole nother gym. Mm -hmm. So, like, what? The only thing to do is go outside. I ain't well, gonna I, lie. I don't mm -hmm. know about that. Because nowadays... I mean, you can people, get a phone for pretty people cheap, got to be honest. all the wrong things and living in the projects. Oh, I get what you mean. No, I say this yeah. all the time. I, I used to see this at school prevalently, right? So, our how the way our town is set up is, like, you can clearly tell where the wealth diversity is in our town. We clearly live in one of the, like, I would say wealthier spots. Uh, there's, like, three main spots, right? There's, there's like, the wealthier spots where you see, like, the mansions. Then there's, like, the suburbs. And then there's, like, downtown, downtown slash the hood. Because, yeah, where we live at, bro, I'm I not, no not considered in that joint hood, bro. Right. I ain't even, like, they had, I ain't gonna lie. Rest in peace, them two heads that did die. I ain't gonna lie. They got, you know what I'm saying? Somebody, somebody definitely came out in the driveway, drive by. But, like, that's the only joint you've ever seen here. And that, and, and that wasn't even on no prevalent game, John. These heads just want to be cool and all that type, John. Yeah, it's a fake hood here. This is dumb. But, like, yeah, right? And we got our Jones. The the, the John that's downtown, bro, it ain't on nothing, bro. Yeah, but you was about to say about the, the people in school, probably with the Gucci belts. Oh, yeah. Nah, don't even get me really started. Because I, I was saying they not on nothing, but I, I wasn't even going into it. But, yeah, I used to see all the time, like, yo, heads will, heads will come in, bro, with fresh pair of Jordans, you know what I'm saying? Nice, the new fours, you know what I'm saying? Amiri's, got a Gucci belt, Louis belt. Bro, you live in a one-bedroom apartment, bro, <laughs> downtown. Brother, start your credit, bro. Oh, great. Actually, let me check, because this was in high school, so we all young bulls. But, like, bro. Yo, give your mom some advice, bro. She need to start uh, locking in on, <laughs> let's get out of this apartment, bro, instead of buying you a Louis belt. <laughs> and I know that might sound crazy, like, yo, don't judge people, bro. I don't know. You're just insecure because you ain't have it. I guess so. But still, though, would you rather live in at least a townhouse or <laughs> or a mansion or at least a five-bath, five-bath or one better apartment with your whole family? Yeah, I think, I think we all know what we're choosing. So, yeah, that's tough. Handle your priorities correctly. Mm-hmm. That's it. Seeing indoor furniture outside. Sun bleach mm -hmm. couches with cigarette buds and empty Corona bottles. Anywhere that seems like a cool Any chill Corona space, bottles. you'll probably really find not. some type of couch or chair. And honestly, this is just what I call innovation. The next sign you're in the hood is half bikes. Now, some of you may be asking, what is a half bike? <laughs> well, that, my friend, has a very simple answer. Mm -hmm. It's half of a bike. <laughs> of a bike. Yeah. If you own a functioning bike in the yeah, ghetto, best believe it is wheel. never safe. Even if you get the Lockinator 3000 and have that thing bolted to the ground, it is never off limits. <laughs> they can't get your bike as a whole. Are worth that much? Are what? Are bike tires worth that much for people to steal these? I things? don't know. They used to take bike tires all the time. It's like you had to lock your tires up, but then look, you saw that one. It's it didn't matter. It, what it they think? How they get the, the, the pool thing off? Yo, I'm just sitting here. Day is in the hood. That's why they got it off. I'm just sitting here, like I just feel like, like, like you know how heads would be like, I, I want to get out the mud, get out the hood, mm -hmm. but it's like. 
y'all methods of doing it are just so terrible. Like they're just they're just not sustainable at all. Like you're gonna go rob the corner store, you're gonna go steal no, bike they tires. Get out and they're going away to jail. Like why are we why doing are we wasting stuff. time doing this? Like why don't we just like why don't we Do just right. find actual good money making methods that are consistent? Like I, I don't know. I guess I guess that's coming from somebody who lives in the suburbs now. So I guess I don't see the vision. I'm tapped out. I don't know. Hmm. Best believe they will take it in parts. Like they're trying to put together a buildable off Black Ops 2 zone. <laughs> Me personally, I used to tuck my bike into the closet in the crib as a kid. Because after my first bike only lasted about half a business day, I knew I may <laughs> never get to enjoy that luxury again if I didn't make some serious lifestyle change. <laughs> Now, the next sign you're in the projects is one a four-legged cannon, and I'm talking about pit bulls. If you see a dude walking down the street with a jacked big toe with teeth that he oh, most yeah. likely doesn't have. Yo, they, oh, and, they, and they dogs in the hood always got the same name. Draco, Knight. I'm like, bro, y'all got to yeah, get Butch, creative. Dutch. Um, y'all got to get creative, bro. Like, so, yeah, they, they, the, most of the names be the same. Now, nah, I'm going to keep it a, a buck, though. Like, yo, having your dog named Draco is fire. But, like, bro, come on, bro. There, we got too many Draco pit bulls, bro. <laughs> like, we got, we got, we got, we got low-key get a little creative. Like, have much control over, then you know you're in the projects. Now, if you knew me growing up, then you also probably knew until about 12 years old, I had a big fear of dogs. And this was a big part of the reason. Bro down the hall from us had two big-ass fucking pit bulls that look like they've been in the gym every day for the last 50 years. Damn. And every time I went out back, I had to pray those hellhounds weren't out there, too. Because with the way they would jump and bark at you when you walked by, you just knew chance. they were on a 100% raw meat diet and were craving for That's a protein crazy. shake. The next project symptoms we got are shopping carts, clothing lines, and window ACs. Now, if you've happened to stumble oh. across a few shopping carts, but you're not in the parking lot of a grocery store, you are more than likely in the ghetto. If you happen to notice one too many lines with clothes drying outside, <laughs> well, then add that to your checkoff list. You ain't doing and that you now. a strange amount of metal boxes hanging from apartment windows. Your clothes is, your you clothes is not disappearing into the ether, bro. You your clothes bro. outside on the line. Your clothes, your clothes quickly became somebody else's what, clothes. By the time you got down to the fifth item, your first four is gone. Yo, that I got. I want to see like a little animation of that. Like it's just you putting something up, disappears, or somebody snags it. Yeah, it up, snags it, put it up, snags it. I'm like, you was not I'm hanging. Like, yo, what happened to my socks? You was <laughs> not hanging your clothes outside the dry. Nah. Yeah, no, nah, that's ridiculous. Okay, but actually, look though. at this air conditioner in the in the truck. I'm done. <laughs> huh? Oh, that was the wrong one. Hold on. Bumbaka. Yo, what do we... Yo, this... Why am I not mad at it, though? I'm not mad at it, though. Man. Why am I not mad? Because this could really work, though. That's a problem. I'm like, oh, no. Nah. Hey, but we you plugging it up, to? Don't you got a thing in your car where you yeah. can play? <laughs> Yo, this is, this is top tier. This is funny. I'm going to give a fuck. It gets hot in the summer of these places, and they most likely don't got centralized air conditioning, all right? The next time that you found yourself in the ghetto, broken glass. An unusual oh, amount glass of glass all over. All where, over. you may ask? Anywhere at all. Yes. Yeah, even in places where broken glass shouldn't be. But speaking of things being where they shouldn't be, the next time Yo, you're in the hood is I've locks. I've seen that down before. On everything. Oh, yeah. Even on you things that would normally never have locks on them. Have Growing to. up in my building, they had to put locks all over the fire extinguisher box because if they didn't, it would go missing every time it got replaced. The next time you're in the projects is getting robbed. I mean, this mm -hmm. can happen anywhere, but your chances of being robbed shoot up astronomically when you're in the ghetto. Shit, even if you're from the ghetto, sometimes <laughs> it's just a bad day. Mm -hmm. And the worst part about that is, if you do get robbed living in the ghetto, then it's more than likely by someone you know. Hey, I like those shoes. Oh, these shoes? What size are those? Uh, mm -hmm. I think they're size 9. Shit, I can squeeze. Oh, oh you can squeeze. Yo, my bad. Y'all um, didn't <laughs> I'm like, yo. Hold on, yeah, my mom better keep watching my okay. pictures, boy. I'll keep watching oh, bro, while he's fixing. Let me help him out. Take them shoes off. All right, man, shit. They be, they be like that, but though. But it's not even real Nike. It's <laughs> McKay. Take it off. And I'm going to need that Louie hat, too. But it's not even Louie. It's Louie's. <laughs> Take the hat off. I'm going to need that watch, too. It's not even a watch. This is a wall clock. <laughs> man, shit. I knew I should have went somewhere else for this. Man, give, give me the wall Here clock. Jordan? Here you go. Hey, oh, shit. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, it's me. It's me. What's up, Neb? You're robbing me? Hey, man, you know how it goes around here. All right, man. Can I at least keep my pants? Uh, yeah, you can keep your pants, man. Uh, how's the family, by the way? They're doing all right, you know? My that's a shame when you know the, uh, who's robbing you. When you know home, the person. So. Oh, that's good to hear, man. That's good to hear. How about you? How's your family doing? Like, bro, uh, you, know, you know, you know, we had ups and downs, man, but it, it's been pretty rough lately, so... Yeah, I'm going to need your phone, too, by the oh way. Oh, my God. Shit, He's all right. All right, Jordan. Appreciate it. I appreciate you, too. The next project symptom we got is bugs. Most likely roaches, sometimes oh. bed bugs, and Jeez, occasionally bad. even rats. 
even occasionally the estate in the projects is more than likely to have some roaches running. Nah, I tell y'all what, bro. I've lived, I've lived here where we at, right, for a good amount of my life. I would say most of my like grown up years that I could really remember is in this crib, right? But if there's one thing I do remember for us living in Jersey, boy, them roaches was some different, bro. Them, mm, water them, bugs. Them, 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 them water <laughs> I bugs. I say it's water bugs. Different. They like big roaches. They was flying. <laughs> I'll never forget you. We wake up, there'll be the one dead in the middle of the hallway. I'm like, yo, I'm like, I'm like, dang. And the I water was, bugs. And that was a real young boy, bro. This had to be when I was like six, seven. Like, like yo, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. And that's why I never understand why heads wanna wanna be from the hood so bad. They wanna portray this lifestyle so bad. Like, bro, mm -hmm. that's so stupid, mm -hmm. bro. You ask anybody that's actually really in the hood, bro, they do not wanna be there, bro. Are you dumb? They wanna get out. Y'all y'all wanna portray images so bad. Y'all with this FUMO John so bad. I guess man. cause you know, if they think you know, you in the hood, you still in the hood, from the hood, you hard. Yes. Nah, bro. <laughs> then I'm soft. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so like I don't I don't know, bro. It just doesn't seem smart to me. I like I don't know why you'd want to keep continuing to be in the struggle, because that's what they're acknowledging that the mm -hmm. hood is a struggle. So you want to stay there? That's where you want to be at? I'm a hood baby, bro. Mm -hmm. Oh, this this all I live for, bro. What? I don't know. <laughs> I I'd be like, you know what? Have fun with that, bro. I'm finna <laughs> I'm, I'm finna go slide in my pool real quick. <laughs> And honestly, if you're from the ghetto, you've most likely learned to accept that these little assholes are your roommates and are not looking to cough up any rent change anytime soon. <laughs> nope. And they aren't even the good type of roommates. <laughs> That's for free. They're to lock themselves in the room until they smell the takeout you brought home and sneak out to eat it in the middle of the night room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But shit, I mean, I can't blame them. That inflation is crazy. The next sign you're in the ghetto, fireworks. Or at least that's what you were told as a kid and what you forced yourself to believe to keep yourself from folding to thinking about the meaning of life. Or just actual fireworks. Honestly, that's the thing about growing up in the project. I think well, the fireworks the time, problems everywhere. Fireworks, a lot we of got times, it bad it here. Was, especially around the holidays. But we yeah. got fireworks bad here. Yeah, we live in a Caucasian neighborhood. Or you mean like actual fireworks? Yeah, not. Oh, uh, I'm thinking you mean like I'm like no. Yeah, I'm like, we live in a suburb. He said fireworks. Like, yeah. He was saying fireworks, or yeah. he was saying something else. But he said no, actual fireworks. And I said yeah. Oh yeah, nah. we actually got it bad here too. Oh no, I was trying to tell y'all, bro. I, I be I be hearing fireworks, and I'm like, yo, bro, it is June 18th on like May. a Tuesday <laughs> evening. No, no, yeah, like, it's like May 18th <laughs> on May. a Tuesday evening. What holiday are y'all celebrating, yeah. bro? I'm like, yo, this is ridiculous, bro. I'm like, like, trying to look outside of fireworks. All I'm seeing is... <laughs> I'm like, bro. And forget about it's it. It's a Tuesday night. This weekend? It ain't... This is weekend ain't even the 4th. It's the weekend before the 4th. Oh, they're going to definitely do some mm, for sure. Ain't no sleeping. Like, I... I bro. It ain't no sleeping around here. I don't here. know. Shout out them, though. I guess they enjoying life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These when fireworks were in abundance. The firework wars on the block were very real. But most mm -hmm. of the time, it was probably guns. Mm -hmm. But if you grew up in the ghetto, this has almost definitely become like white noise for you to fall asleep to. The next sign you're in the hood is free lunch programs. Look, mm. if you got a local <laughs> rec center with a free lunch program, mm -hmm. Yo, you're in the ghetto. He is and to speaking wrap up the our truth. List, we got chain link fences, basketball nets with no mesh, oh. abandoned buildings, security cameras that don't actually work, and graffiti. Murals too. A lot of projects you oh, yeah. murals be so fire. Yeah, and they a don't. candlelight vigil somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, these are just a few signs that you may have found your way to the projects. Whether it be by birth or a wrong left turn. And those seemingly <laughs> the projects are home to a lot of great people great. and great memories. But if you don't live there, maybe try making memories elsewhere. If there are any project symptoms I may have missed in this video, feel free to leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to leave a like and sub. Appreciate you guys for watching. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Right. Here. I ain't gonna lie. Yo, shout out Need, bro. New creator on, mm -hmm. the, on the channel. Y'all yeah. already know how that go. Yo, I thought this video was fantastic. I find it. Yo, I know. I know. We just say we lived in the uh, suburbs or whatever. Yeah. But honestly, this joint is relatable from from living in, uh, you know, obviously in Jersey in the past, bro. Like, yeah, you see the bugs, bro. Heads, heads is on the corner. Heads be outside. You know what I'm saying? Kids playing. Mm -hmm. Like, you just gotta really make the best of the situation. But I don't want to ever hear nobody saying that they want to be in the hood, bro. Cause you know you're lying. Like, but here's my thing you know that he kept it. saying, though. Like, he kept saying in the projects, the projects. Yeah. Um, it's signs that you're in the hood. Like he's just saying, like in yeah, the projects. No, they basically like the same well, thing. Well, uh, the projects is. I mean, the projects to me is in the hood. Well, Not yeah. the projects as being the hood. When we well, think about it, it's like it's like an equilibrium thing. Like when when the way I think about it is like projects equal hood, hood equal projects because it's just like these are the both. Let's just say let's just say we're using these words individually. Both of the things, the details and don't he listed on here, you would classify it in both. So mm -hmm. it's like what you would think. What's the difference? Now, granted, it's like all right, there's a difference between like 
uh, like old block in a project building where it's apartments and John, or like where we were living at, where it's it's not like a it's not like an apartment, shop, was, but it's like a townhouse. Yeah, that was considered a Spanish project. Yeah, that's like, what they used to call it. Spanish, the but, Spanish but project. About, <laughs> but think about how the housing was. Like obviously, right. it's still it's still close together, like urban oh, type yeah. John, but it's like more of a still townhouse. Everything he said, <laughs> but a John instead of like an apartment. You know what right. I mean? Right. Yeah. So I'm saying, like, I, I could see that difference, but either way, you're going to find all of these yeah. in both. <laughs> so he, it don't matter. He didn't matter. talk about most of the garbage. He, talk, he didn't talk about the garbage. Shoot, like he said, there's some things he might have missed out yeah. on. So, yeah, the garbage is a lot of garbage, but he's right about the furniture, the people, yeah. Yeah. the bodega, yeah. the restaurant. <laughs> Yo, shout out, shout out the, liquor, the poppy store. The liquor store. Like, it's like a rotation. Liquor store, bodega, Chinese food, um, uh, check cash. I ain't gonna lie. Go to the next block. It might be in a different order. Chinese more <laughs> big. I can understand why some people, would, I guess, could see like some of the good in the hood because it does make you, depending on where you're at, and like mm-hmm. you could feel nostalgia. Like, oh, as a kid, this used to be where I grew up. Like, you know, it was hard times, but looking back at it, you know, I still, I did have, still have fun and all mm-hmm. that type of jazz, or even just like, you know, what I'm saying. Maybe, it, maybe your peoples is still there. You like going there to visit once and often, you know. Mm-hmm. There and often, I, I'm like Jesus Christ, can't even English. Go like, in, you know, go out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I, I, I should not be seeing anyone that wants to be in a hood that wants to struggle. Like that does not mm-hmm. correlate to anything in life. Like I don't know why you want to do this, bro. You just, that, I don't know. Maybe, yeah. But I guess that's just my opinion because I don't know. I say everybody strive to, to accomplish their dreams and keep working and you know be the best version of themselves. I don't know if you feel like the best version of yourself is being a hood baby. Mm-hmm. Shout out <laughs> you, big bro. Lock in. All right, but that was a good video. I like that. Yeah, no, shout out like me that. for sure. Y'all please go subscribe to him, bro. This video was really good. We definitely gonna have to check out more of his videos for sure because he's cooking. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. He's doing his thing. Mm-hmm. But yo, y'all, of course, that was him. Of course, Neve. Signs are in the hood. If you guys want to watch the rich video, like I said, in the beginning, that boy be down to my love. Give your yeah. own opinions and conjecture. Of course, if you don't want to hear us yap over that boy. Mm-hmm. And mom, we hit ended that, it off. Hit that know. thumbs up button, but make sure you go check out you saying Neve. Maybe it's mm-hmm. Neb or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, right. Let me show y'all. One more time, just so you make know. sure you subscribe. He about to hit a thousand. Him. I ain't yep. gonna lie. Shout out, shout out for him. Okay, make okay. sure you go subscribe to him. All right, and then make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Yep. Oh, yeah, I did that clap again. Hit that thumbs up button. Comment if there's anything that you think he missed. Like I was saying that I thought he missed or whatever. And, you know, any explanation that you have. And mm-hmm. listen, this is all in fun. I want nobody to be insulted or feeling bad or think or think that we think we better. Because uh, if you know me, and a lot of you subscribers out there don't oh, know me, okay? I was born and raised. Okay, in the hood, you heard him talk about the big water bugs, okay? And that occasionally... Rats, he said. Nah, them mice is on the regular. Okay, <laughs> they on the regular in the hood. Yeah, they like bar. They like the cats and the dogs. But on that note, click that subscribe button. Go subscribe to Neb as well. And then don't forget to turn on that post notification bell. So every time it says family post a new video, I believe be fresh, hot, spicy, fiery, and always in your feed. Ah, they know what I'm on. I am from. VJ! Oh. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what she just said. I know. I think I know what she's talking about, but yeah, that wasn't English to me. But that, fast. It wasn't English. That was the Spanish project. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, like Mom said, you know what I'm saying? Just stay happy, stay well, and we're gonna catch y'all later. Peace! Peace.